Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to install a wireless trolling pro PWM or pulse width modulator digital speed controller for your trolling motor. Now some of the benefits are that it saves on battery life and it also gives you an infinite amount of speed settings for your trolling motor. Now this installation is the same for most other PWMs on the market. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is go over the connections for the wireless trolling pro. And if you go over here to the main unit, you can see that I have the wiring labeled there. You have your battery minus, battery plus, motor plus, and motor minus. And then the gray cord coming out goes to the remote here. In the first configuration, I'm going to show you how to hook up a PWM to a stock trolling motor. This is a 12 volt, 5 forward, 3 reverse speed trolling motor. Now the only wiring that comes out from the stock trolling motor is your positive and negative hookups for the battery. So what you're going to do is hook up the wireless trolling pro motor plus and motor minus to the appropriate leads coming out of the trolling motor. And in order to make this work right, you want to select speed 5 in the forward position because that allows for the maximum current flow through the trolling motor. And I already have my power hooked up. Here's my controller. Watch the prop. Forward position. Off. Reverse. Off. And one of the good things about this setup is that you don't need an external polarity switch to change direction of the motor. This is the view of a modified trolling motor. The head has been removed and the shaft has been shortened. Now when you initially remove the head, you're going to see four wires. You're going to have a red, which is a positive 12 volts, a black, which is a negative 12 volts, and a white and yellow wire. Now the only wiring required to install the PWM is the red and the black wires. So you can cap off the white and yellow wires and then tuck them back into the shaft out of the way because you won't need them for this project. Now that you've seen what the wiring configuration is for this, I've connected my power source, which is a 12 volt battery, to the WTP PWM as well as the positive and negative for the trolling motor. So let's go ahead and turn this on and you can see it work. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.